Hello guys, welcome back to episode 2 of our 7 Days to Die survival world. Um, last episode we explored the, the spooky barn, which I was not a big fan of, it took me bloody forever. Um, and I think this time we're going to go into Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn, so let's see what this has in store. Last episode, I swear to God, I almost had about four heart attacks. It was bloody awful. Our first day, okay. I'll drink some of that. Now I think this here. <coughs> now I think this here might be my best melee weapon. Uh, melee damage 20.4. That's 10.3 and 6, yeah. What's this here? 15.1. So it's not bad. Um, can I do anything with this? Scrap armor. Oh, let's put the helmet on. I forgot to do that last episode when I was fighting that crawly thing. There we go. Last episode almost killed me, I swear to God. The wee crawly things I was not a fan of. hope everyone's enjoying the series so far. I've not got too many views but I hope the folk that do watch it enjoy it. Um, I just, uh, it's something new, something I just wanted to try to do. A wee bit of fun. Hopefully later down, down the line we'll get um, viewers to um, influence what I do. You know, if I should build in certain locations or if I should go explore into certain parts. That'd be quite interesting. And hopefully by that point I've got proper gear as well. Get myself a wee motorbike. Right. That's this in. I'm not a big fan of the wallpaper. But luckily it's not our hu oh, there's a boar again. What's he doing in here? Take a glass jar. Right. Oh. There you go, you're free mate. I don't know why there's boards everywhere. I don't know why folk are just. Oh my god, what's happened? <gasps> oh yeah. What the fuck? What are you doing in the cupboard? Jesus Christ. Oh fuck, that's not good. Oh, that swings really slow. He jumped out of the bloody cupboard. As if it wasn't scary enough. What's that music I hear? Oh god, I'm sh I'm a little bit a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Let's use some of this to get our health up. Yeah, let's just check the first floor to make sure it's What? Oi! 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 Why are you attacking me? I've done nothing to you. I've done nothing oh my god, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Alright, we died by a boar. Our first death. Absolute bullshit. I done nothing to him. All the other boars in this game would be nice. And where did we spawn? Please just be down the road. Oh no. Somewhere completely random. <laughs> oh no. All that work for nothing. I wonder if we check the map. We died right here, look, there's our bag. So not too far away. Not too far away at all if we want to go back. Which I think we'll end up doing. Don't fancy losing all that progress. I don't know what I've done to start on there. Not a big fan though. I'm not a big fan of that house either. It doesn't look too bad actually, but it's five o'clock in the game. So I've got plenty of time before it gets dark. So we need to get this house searched and then out of here and back down to the bag, hopefully. 
We're gonna set up for the night. Right, let's do that. Right, let's build a bit. Um, do we want to build a bed here? Nah, we're not doing that. Stone axe, that's what we're wanting. Okay, I'll use that. Get some more wood. That should do. And any stones nearby? Let's get some stones. Always helps to have uh, stones in that. Wooden stones. And actually, I actually need to get some grass just in case I need like, to make any tools on the go. Right, that should do. And actually, before I go anywhere, I am building a spear. Is a club good? Uh, does it not actually tell you what damage it does? I don't think so. The spear will be the best thing anyway, I'm assuming. For the time being. Oh, spear book. Uh, rapid strike. Uh, hone your reflexes to perform a rapid spear thrust. Increase attack speed by 10%. Well, that's a lot faster, actually. So that's only 10%. Hello? Hello? Alright, the, the back of the house is completely exposed. What the hell happened here? Some sort of explosion. Right, I'm going to check the cover. Oh, you bastard! Oh, oh. What are you doing there? Space zombies just like to hide in this, like, the best jump scare locations. That guy in the, in the cupboard in the house before. Absolute. Shut the bed. Alright, um. No, 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 no. Let's check here. Come on, please have some. Oh. Let's not. Have some food. I think in this game, if you hold raw meat, what's that actually? Rotten flesh. Oh, oh, I can use it medically. Eh, I'm, I'm just gonna drop that because I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'll get infected. Oh, a lot of wood there. Oh my god, it's six o'clock already. I don't trust that at all. Okay. What's in the toilet? Some paper in the toilet. You know what? Let's take that. We'll just hoard everything we, that we can. So that's downstairs done. What lies above? Hello? Alright, something's in there. Alright, zombies? I hear someone. Where is he? a zombie but some feathers we'll take that a paintbrush we don't really need that yet I'm not gonna oh yeah we'll take that we'll take some clothing what does it actually look like not bad at all it'd be a bit cold though but I'm sure we'll manage Alright, alright, who's who's making all that racket? You bastard. Oh my god, see how fast she was there. No hitting. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. She dead? Yeah, I think so. Hello? Right. Is that a face mask? And we got some medicine, a top, some boots. Oh, this has been a really good one. So if I go to here, can I put the top on as well? No, I can't. So I need to figure out which one's better. Uh, heat resist. 
Okay, we'll just put this one on. Cold resist is probably what we're after. And a face mask. Oh, we're starting to look the part. A tank top. What's it with all this clothing? Ooh! A wooden bow schematic. Yes, please. A jacket. I'm hoping I could put that over. Cobblestone rocks. Can we put a jacket on over? I think we can. Brilliant. Can I look in that? No. Pile of books. Paper, that was it. This house hasn't had much, really. Not Nothing much at all. Um, it was a small house, to be fair, but I was kind of expecting a wee bit more. Just a little bit. And the sun is starting to go down, so let's figure out... We need to go this way to get back to our bag. Ah, there it is on the top of our screen. So we'll head back, kill that bloody boar, which I'm still mad about, because he shouldn't have killed me. And then we'll have to bunker up for the night and hope that it's not too bad. I think you get bears in this game as well. That's a nice body of water there. Uh, yeah, I think you get bears in this game and... I'm not too sure what else you get. I just really hope I don't run into a bear. There's a zombie down there. What you love to see. It doesn't look like they've added fish though. Oh no, I forgot. When you get wet in the game, it actually makes your clothes wet. It actually makes you like a lot heavier so you can't run as fast. On the bottom left of your screen, how it says 93.8%. That's how wet I am. <laughs> Don't clip that. Alright, here we go. Bob's Boars. I'm gonna cook a nice. Well, actually, uh, let's make a bed roll, because we're gonna need that now. Um, and a f fireplace? Can we do that? Campfire. Small stones. Let's get that organised. Alright, there we go. That's, that's that. Why is there so many zombies out and about now? When I came here earlier, there was none. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I wish it was always that easy. Alright, I'm going to clear this area before I even go in, because he'll just follow me. Let's get him. Oh, this guy takes a beating. Come on. Jesus Christ, how many are you taking? Oh, okay, this kind of kind of collapsed there. Alright. Alright, that boar. Alright, I, I, I freed one of them. It's, oh, don't. Don't even think about it. Alright, there you are, yeah. Prick. Alright. I don't know what to do here. You must be low health, eh? It must be when I get too close to them that they get startled. Oh, don't like it. Alright, we'll just take our stuff. Um, take all. Alright, we are way too over encumbered. Okay, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. I 
thought we used that last time, but obviously not. Dreshers, um, yeah, we'll take these, they're a bit better, and then we'll have to drop these. Or we'll scrap them actually. Um, a bedroll, we need to put that bedroll down. Drop that, drop that, drop that. Put that there. Put, sorry everyone, I just need to organise this a little bit because I'm really bad at that. Oh, I should have scrapped them, but it's okay. Not the end of the world. Empty water jar. Leave that, leave that, leave that, okay. a lot of them, you hear them. Yeah, that's her dead. I'm getting better at this. Alright, just one through here. Come on. You want some? Jesus Christ. I'm unstoppable. Alright, I think the best thing for us to do right now is to try and secure this area. So, am I right in saying I have to craft two of these? Is this how you craft in the game? We'll just block that off. I think that's going to break the whole stair bar. That'll be fine. Alright, so we put that down and we put. Oh god. Oh, that's not the one. What am I hearing? Oh, don't like this. Oof, what am I doing? <laughs> How do you build in this game? Somebody's absolutely rapid. Are you hearing this? Somebody's absolutely rapid around this area. Oh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Get me up on the roof. Get me up on the roof. Get Grace. What's this all about? Huh? Oh, this is the board. It's called Grace. Alright, we're on the roof. Somewhat. Oh no. Here we here we go. It's gonna get it's gonna get dark now, and the zombies are gonna be able to run. Um, I'm not looking forward to this at all now. Uh, oil shed. Alright, we'll take them bandages. I can hear them all running. Oh, get me out of here! Bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, my heart. I don't know if you'll be able to hear them properly, but they're all running around breaking everything. Oh, wait a minute. It's up here I'm hearing them from.
Right. Shit, my pants. Sorry, let's put the bedroll down. Before anything happens. Alright. That's us up here now. Not a bad location to be, actually. Right, I'm not going in there because they'll bloody attack me. Storage box. Can we make one of that? Oh, we need nails. I don't know how you actually build though. Frame shapes, cobblestone shapes. Let's see what this does. Okay, so we got a wee bit cobblestone. Which isn't actually that bad. That'll have more hip like more health than the wood. So we'll go through this way, see what's further down here, and set up for the night, get a campfire on, and hopefully... Oh, oh no. That's what I'm hearing. You see how fast he is? Alright, let's have a wee rest, have a wee drink of water. He's breaking that block right below me, which might be a good thing and it might be a bad thing at the same time. Right. Hello. Let's see if I can set him on fire. Okay, I knocked him down. He's rapid. Look at that. Imagine being outside and this guy's after you. Not a fan. Okay, he is definitely dead. As I was gonna say, if you have any feedback from episode one, like any suggestions that I can maybe improve on or anything like that, I'd really appreciate you like just to receive some feedback. Um I think it went okay, but obviously my opinion is probably a lot different to others. Uh, but yeah, if you got any feedback, I'd really like to, to hear it. Right. Let's go back up here somehow. Let me make some more wooden frames. If that's what they're like... Oh my god, what? If that's what they're like on the first night... I can only imagine what they're going to be like on the Blood Moon, because uh, the Blood Moon is every seven days the, the whole sky turns red and zombies get really aggressive and try to hunt you down in hordes. And that's why like, yeah, you, you've got seven days to get everything sorted in your base. I uh, don't want to jump down there because he's going to fuck me up. God, it is dark in here. Fuck him up. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's right on me. Oh. Oh. Okay. What am I hearing? Is that people outside? Can I get... Oh, oh my god, you see him? Look! I didn't know they could jump over walls. Here comes another one. She might jump over the wall. No, she's going another way. Alright, let me get let me get back in here. I need to I don't know, maybe because I've got a sleeping bag I can sleep through the night. Possibly. No. Right, let's put 
put that bed back down. Where is it? I'm quite happy here. This is quite nice. Put that in there. Oh. I think that's... It's just past midnight now. I don't know what time the actual... Like, the cut-off is when zombies turn back to normal. It might be now. No, it definitely isn't. <laughs> Right, so we got that there. We've got a nice wee, f a nice wee fire. We've got some meat. So, uh, oh, do we have to have tools to use the fire? You gotta be kidding me. That's not fair, really. So we can't really do anything except from just kind of turn it on. Turn it on to keep warm. I'm going to make a door up this way so we can kind of get out and see what's happening at the front of the building. Oh, watch this be like loads of layers to go f oh, to repair it. If anyone has any experience playing Seven Days to Die, if you could leave some tips, hints and tips, that would be really appreciated. Or you could just watch me get through with it and see how I do on my own. I think I've been doing well so far, considering it's my first time playing it in a long time. I think I'm doing well. I mean, I died once, but that wasn't really my fault. Alright, here we go. Can I there we go. Oh, it gets really snowy up there. That's going to be really cold. I think I'll have to avoid that area for the time being. I don't think I've got clothes to survive that. I'll probably freeze to death. Um. I don't know what to do here. Is it like a racetrack for boars? It doesn't make sense to me that at all. Who's that? What is that? It's a dog. Oh my god, it's a wolf. It's a zombie wolf thing. Nah, it's too far now. That's too far. Why would they add that? Look at the size of it. Hopefully it shows up clearly on the recording, but that thing is bloody massive. That's not a wolf. <laughs> I think it's a fucking... A rhino looking thing. It's bloody massive. Alright. Let's make a bowl. Because this is going to help us out as well. Alright, I'll move that there. Right, can we make arrows? Oh, we can make knuckle wraps. <laughs> Start punching folk. Box of arrows. Can I really not make stone arrows? I need a crafting thing for it. Everything is a crafting thing now. Oh, let's make one stone axe just for the mission. I'll oh, just get rid of one. Not really a good use of resources, but it gets that mission done. Alright, I'm gonna, gonna repair this and then we're gonna go on the road again. Alright, so that's that done. It's one o'clock in the morning, so technically, I don't know, I, I don't know when the cutoff is when they stop going mental. I think they probably still do go mental right now. It's still night. Well, it's technically morning. 
Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's walk up this way and see what we can see. Because I'm not going down there. It's too cold down there. Potato seeds. You know what? That's not bad if we settle down somewhere. If we settle down somewhere, we can plant our own potatoes. So we chicken down there running. That'll probably be the one that gave me a, a fright in episode episode one. Hello. Did oh no. Um, have we got food? Have we got food? Have we got food? We don't have much food actually at all. No, we need to cook most of it. I'm getting rid of that note. Oh, nah. That's too far. What am I doing? What am I doing out here? Oh my god. I'm back. I'm going back. <laughs> you see the speed of them? That's bloody awful. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here because it's been 32 minutes and I don't want to keep you waiting, uh, hang well, hanging around a long time. I'll end the episode here and if you tune in for the next episode, it'll be just me continuing on from here uh, on to the next day. If I survive what's... Oh my god, oh my god. If I survive this, actually. We'll see. Oh. What am I doing? What am I doing out here? Alright. I'll see you guys in episode 3. Cheerio!